This is another edition of low budget fly tying tutorials. There was a question today on the local fly fishing tied up Potomac fly rodders message board for a tutorial on a trico spinner. I haven't really fished tricos that much. I've done some on Spruce Creek. We did really good, Tom and myself, back in the summer of 2000. And I've done a bunch on Mossy Creek in Virginia and as well on the Dreamstream in Colorado. But I don't really get out to those spots that much during the trico season. But here's one of my patterns and it's super easy. It really only consists of a, tooth, a uh, paintbrush, some packing foam, black thread. And this is what the fly is going to look like when finished. A little bit of trico. I am using a size... 14 muddle or stone fly hook at the moment. Normally, if you were doing this, you would use a size 18 or 20 hook. Something like this. I can't even pick it up, it's so tiny. Something like that. If I were to be tying these for fishing and not for filming purposes, I would use these. Must add size 16 wet nymph hook. All right, first things you gotta do is get your black thread out. This is Danville flat wax nylon. Of course, I am still using a Regal Vice. Once you put that hook in, it stays. All you have to do is start your thread. This is 210 denier nylon flat wax. Start your thread. If you've ever tied a thread midge, same principle. The entire body on this is gonna be made out of black thread as there are only three ingredients involved. Next up, you're gonna take your paintbrush bristles. This is just a, what is it, zebra? zebra? I don't know, it was cheap at Home Depot. Cut off about a couple of these. These are to mimic the caudal circe or the tails of a mayfly. Trico, of course, is the shortened fly fishing nickname of the genus that I cannot pronounce so I guess most of us can't pronounce, which is why we call them trichos. Just build up this body. You may be noticing that this thread is not wrapped very well on my bobbin. It keeps getting loose. Kind of make a cigar-shaped body. Once you get up to about here, a nice little centerpiece, you take your foam and just cut off a little strip. And you can cut it to shape. You sort of want it to look like a bow tie. Take that, and you're going to tie this in like you would a pair of dumbbell eyes, crisscross. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that is the fly right there. I could make the body a little bit bigger, but I don't really need to. I'm going to do a half hitch. Okay, here we go. And you can do this for any spinner, sulfurs, whatever. There you have it. There's a black thread bodied trico spinner. It's not rocket science, folks. Make tying easy, simple. Any more questions, any more patterns you want me to tie, you can hit me up. Rob at robsnowwhite.com is my email. And my website is robsnowwhite.com.